project idx is a free and open source ai code editor backed by google uh, this is a web based ai code editor so this is a direct competition of bold.new lovable.dev and v0.dev but it has far more functionalities than bold.new and lovable.dev i tested this tool almost a month ago and i was not really impressed by performance because this tool was super slow but recently they have made a lot more updates and they have integrated gemini 2.0 directly into project idx so in this video we are going to test this tool uh, the good thing about this tool is you can actually build flutter applications or like an android based application or even you can directly import a github repository directly into this tool uh, so i'm actually more interested towards like creating a basic flutter application uh, because i find that i mean if you're not aware if you if you have never developed a cross platform flutter application so i mean uh, to develop that application uh, any application in flutter on your computer you need to like set up a lot of things you need to download android studio you need to set up sdks you need to set up uh, download and install and ndks there is a whole sdk manager tool i mean there are a lot of dependencies that you download and install to set up just like a basic environment but there's an option to create a basic flutter application in here so let's just try and let's just see if it works directly in browser because to use this i don't need to install anything i can simply just click on this button and then it will apparently it should like just work directly so let's just try uh, let me just click on this flutter application and let me just name it something let me just give it uh, my flutter application all right all right so i'll just give it a name and after that so now it's going to set up the environment initialize environment building environment and then finalizing all right perfect so it should work uh, like straight away directly in browser this is a good thing about project idx because it is backed by google developed by google so flutter is backed by google as well so that's why i think it's uh it will be comparatively easier and uh, they have like configured everything directly into this ai code editor so hopefully it will be like developing flutter applications is now easier uh, as compared to as it was previously if you have to like develop that locally on your computer all right so apparently it has created uh this like empty project let's let's just wait for it to like set up everything let me just refresh this application i think all right so once it has created your empty project it will just open your project something like this and after that it will just like uh, generate uh, like run this project and generate a web view there is an android view as well so apparently it will actually run this application uh directly into this android emulator uh so this is very good because if you have to do all of this on your computer it takes a lot of time just to, like start up everything so system ui is not working so apparently this emulator is not working into here so i think it's just still running on background so on web yeah on web it has run that project perfect so this project is running on web on android it will just like try to run that application yep on android it is working as well on this emulator perfect so apparently everything is set up and everything ready now if you have to like main thing that we need to test is uh integrating gemini into this so if you know if you're not aware google gemini 2.0 has recently released and uh, it has like it is far better in terms of like writing code as compared to other uh, a lot of other like la large language models it's free to use so you uh, to use the google gemini directly into project idx what you need to do you can just like come here on the left side go to this tab go to go to this option project idx click on that and then click on add gemini api just click on that and after that it will just uh, ask for allow grant access and after that just log in with your email address all right once gemini api key is enabled you can simply just click on this icon click on here and then click on uh chat with gemini so simply just click on that and now you can ask it to like uh perform any single any anything that you want so uh just maybe i don't know just add something interactive chat and let's just give it a prompt create a to-do list app let's just create something try to create something basic and now it should like go through the entire code base it is already aware of code base and that should like apparently should make changings to this code base and create a basic to-do so yeah this is a uh, super simple to create uh i, I think a uh, basic flutter applications uh so far but i realize it is still slow it's still not very fast but yeah it's free i mean there's no cost for it if you're if you're going to use maybe bold.new uh to develop a web application so i think instead you can use uh, uh pro like project idx uh because it has like native support for which is really really amazing no other ai code editor have direct native support for um uh, for that so it has now made some changing all right i have created and okay fine it app includes to okay fine let's just see if it has created anything 
So there's a button to add new item, which opens, okay, which opens the dialog box. So I'll just click on this comma. So the only code file has only changed that. And especially just, it just imported that. There is no other changing that it has done. All right, so basic version of app is working. Oh yeah, I think I need to just run this code once again. So simply just go to run and debug and click on run and debug. And now it will just like run that from scratch. Uh, let's try creating a basic Next.js application and see if it is still slow or not. So I'll just go to IDX dot google.com once again and i'll just create a basic next.js application and then i'll see if uh, it is still slow while creating next.js application so I'll simply just click on that i'll just uh, use the source directory use eslint use app router use 12 win css use typescript and i'll just my next uh, next i'll just give it a name and then after that i'll just click on create or it's going to create an empty next.js application uh, so let's see i mean what i'm actually interested about uh, is is that tool still slow because right now it's slow i mean it's it's depressingly slow seriously uh i cannot work in an ide which is this much slow uh it's like running a video studio code in my pentium 4 literally it's, it's, it's that much slow okay so again i think next step is it has created an empty uh project and everything is there it is now it is going to run this project fine there are 27 problems in this code I hope it will install dependencies and resolve these problems. Yeah, it should like, I think it's depend dependencies related. So what we can actually try to do, we can try to enable our Gemini. Once again, I'll just click on that, chat with Gemini. I'll ask you to fix these errors. There's only one error left now. Yeah, errors are removed, perfect, cool. All right, I think it is not going to run this application, fine. All right, so I'll ask, I'll give it a command, create a basic task manager application all right so it has now run this project directly and with one error yeah i mean i i i don't really like i mean they're actually trying to give my entire vs code experience uh in browser but they should realize that using vs code locally is a different thing than using an ai based like sorry a browser based or cloud based uh id so bold.new has like impressive uh uh, like interface so bold.new if you if you open bold.new and it has like impressive interface it's they're not trying to mimic uh vs code they're not trying to like do that uh because the user experience and user interface is different in uh, in web-based ids but project idx for some reason is just like trying to mimic uh like vs code and due to which i mean this is it's not it's not working the way it should work I mean, it's so slow uh, and I don't like this experience. Like, I mean, I, I don't want this experience. All right, so right now I have this error. I'll just like copy that. And then there are two errors right now, actually. So we can try to run it again. All debug extensions disable extension. All right, so fine. Yeah, I mean, I, I will just still not like switch from bold.new to uh, project IDX. I'll use the open source version of bold.new, which is bold.diy. So other than using project IDX, uh, I mean, it's, 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 it's slow. It, it it's slow if you see like let, let's just like create a give a basic command and so create a task manager application in next.js so here's the user experience you give it a command and it works i mean you know that it will work you know that it will create an empty project it took me like it's it's so seamless and it's so user friendly they're not trying to be vs code they're not trying to like mimic vs code so yeah i'm, I'm still not satisfied by project idx i i think uh, they need to like enhance and improvise um their like uh, user experience that, that's that's that, that's what they need to actually focus on so even like even though it's free but still uh you cannot like create something meaningful inside project idx it takes so much time it is very slow and you if you if you have an error uh i mean it's just like fix a basic thing can actually take a lot of more lot more time all right so yeah so it, it was so seamless so yeah there's an error you can simply just click on a button it will try to attempt to like fix that error uh so yeah it's, it's so simple and of course you can like integrate with superbase yeah so it, like within just like less than one minute it has like created this basic uh task manager application it's just a basic thing for sure but uh, i got uh like direct option to deploy i got direct option to uh, connect to so yeah i will still stick to like tools like bold.new or v0.dev rather than switching to project idx my personal opinion i don't know so yeah i see you next video if you really like this video please do not forget to subscribe i see you next video bye, -bye.